mild weather and a new location provided the perfect setting for the 7th Annual City Arts Festival in Dallas. This year it moved from downtown to Dallas Fair Park and CBS 11's Bud Gillette is live there now. Bud, how's the transition going? Seems like Fair Park is the perfect backdrop. Well, the 500 Incorporated, which sponsors the juried part of this festival, could hardly have picked a better backdrop than the Art Deco setting of Dallas Fair Park, coming here after six years outdoors in the Arts District. Some 300 artists from all over found their way to New Digs inside Centennial Hall, though a mixed bag for some vendors who seem to think potential customers are more comfortable viewing and shopping for artwork in the out of doors. It's a little bit nicer being outside. I think we probably get uh, more people when we're outside. We're starting to begin to see more traffic, and I'm hoping that it just gets better throughout the day. Still, Ordonez says the temperature is better controlled inside. No one is outright critical of the move. A few even welcome not having to worry over any unpredictable weather. I thought it was going to storm. We were When we did Art Fest last year here, it stormed, and it was horrible, and everything got wet. Still, it's Fair Park's outdoor that attracts. The dancing fountains, the architecture, its 11,000 parking spaces and two dart stations make it less expensive to stage city arts here. We have more artists than we've ever had before. We have the first craft show we've ever had. We think that the event will take over the park. And fully utilizing all the park is the long-term goal. Besides city arts today, museums were open, concerts were staged, there was a fitness event at the Cotton Bowl. An inaugural New Year's Bowl game is set here for next January 1st. The more Fair Park is used, the greater revenue to the city, and the more important the venue becomes. A park like this doesn't exist anywhere else. Free admission, free music, free entertainment is why people want to be in the inner city. Now, the Midway is a lure here at the State Fair of Texas. They hope to have a permanent Midway attraction here at Fair Park beginning in 2012. Meantime, City Arts continues here tomorrow. Live in Dallas Fair Park, Bud Gillette, CBS 11 News.